What's going on, folks? This is Jacob uh, filling in for Tom. All right, let's let's look what's going on. We kind of have like a sideways market rocking here. Um, DIA only up a little bit. NDX up not even a percent. Spy up half a percent. Um, it's moving sideways. The dollar is um, staying pretty stable, but still at that 102 area. Gold is popping. That's definitely the big player of the recent times. Let's look at, um, I want to take a look at Steel Dynamics because last time I was on, uh, we were looking at this retest of the last day with volume. And so it did reject it, but not with a lot of volume itself. So that's yet to be seen what kind of pans out with this. We can take a look into Nucor and see how that's shaken out as well. Again, a little bit of upward movement with light volume. I still think looking into the steels uh, and the, just the metal sector in general is uh, it could be profitable. Um, all right, let's take a look. So there is a relatively new treasury bond ETF, T-bill. Now this has a weird structure um, which helps fund managers kind of offload some uh, taxes that they have, but What's important, what's interesting about this is we were speaking last time uh, about the flight out of banks into money market funds and kind of flowing into to treasury bills as well. Um, so what's interesting about this ETF itself is um, in the, uh, something in, the, in a single day, that's right, on Tuesday, um, registered inflows of $582 million, and that's according to Bloomberg. Uh, that pushed the fund's asset under management of $1.15 billion. So that's, I mean, almost double. It's interesting to see this kind of flight in here. Uh, banks still are obviously having some issues. Your regional ones are still having a lot of problems. Uh, poor FRC. And I, you know, again, I was saying there's some people who took the buy right around here, thinking that was going to bump up, and it just kept going down. And I'm not sure how much gas it has left to go down. I mean, you have a lot of volume going on this, um, but, you know, any kind of you know, bump in the foreseeable future to, to a point that matters, unless you bought at the bottom, probably isn't going to happen. Um, there's some other weird stuff going on in the banks today. Um, let's see. The French uh, actually raided five of their banks in a Paris tax fraud case. So um, the raids come as part of five preliminary investigations opened in December of 2021 on allegations of money laundering and tax fraud linked to dividend payments, the French National Financial Prosecutor's Office said in a statement. Um, so we're not sure what the kind of outcome of this raid is yet, but there are five large banks um, really uh, are getting looked at. So that's HSBC, PNB, Paribas, Exane, uh, Societal General, and then Natixis Bank. Um, we'll go a little bit more into, so when I was, you know, this popped up and I was, I was curious, you know, how much of this is really going on, especially with such a, the money, monetary supply is contracting now, obviously, but we had such a large explosion. And so how much um, essentially fraud is going around? And I found this study that was released recently by the National, um, Institute of Economic Research, excuse me, National Bureau of Economic Research, and that goes a little bit into uh, tax dodging. Um, it's pretty insightful. Uh, let's see here. As far as other smaller news, Toyota executive expects average new car prices to exceed 50,000 in 2023. So I, again, with these labored supply chains, we're going to keep seeing this happen. And um, I mean, like, what can you say, right? I, I just helped um, one of my friends uh, get the get their self a car. Um, they had to buy a used car. Um, the, the prices are just insane, and cash flow is a serious problem for a lot of Americans. So you end up having to do like long term loans, you know, six years, seven years on um, used vehicles, right? These newer vehicles going to fifty thousand is going to be a, a massive issue, and we're probably going to see. Um, maybe a little bit more inflation with, with used vehicles because of that. Um, it says in this article in February, average new car prices reached a new peak, jumping by 4.8% uh, from years ago to 46229 That's according to J.D. Power. Uh, Toyota's North American division uh, <clears throat> head of sales, Jack Hollis, said that he believes the average transaction price will crest the 50000 mark in 2023. I don't know, guys. It's not... That's not phenomenal, especially at a time where 
we might see some more major layoffs and uh, kind of contraction in wage growth. What else do we have? Let's see, Ford is, <laughs> again, the same within this line, Ford is hiking the prices of its F-150 Lightning. Uh, we were kind of speaking a little bit um, on some of their issues rolling out electric vehicles last time I was on. Um, excuse me. Uh, but so yeah, they had a battery fire in February and that kind of halted some production. I think they're back up again. Um, this is nuts. So Ford said that the standard range Lightning Pro, okay, a lower cost version of the truck optimized for fleet use. Here, let's see if I can pull up. Let's get this guy up. All right, so they said that their standard range Lightning Pro, lower cost version of the truck optimized for fleet use, will now start at just under 60,000, and that's not including shipping. I spoke about this guy, oh man, a few months ago, saying it was really cool they were getting in uh, to this market. Um, but that's that price is roughly 50% higher than the Lightning Pro's original start price at launch last spring. Uh, how you miss that is pretty insane to me. I, I would love to get kind of a little bit more insight. I, I don't know if they were just kind of you know, you have so much nowadays where you kind of just, you, you um, it's the hype around the product, right? You announce it, you say we're gonna do it here, and the consumer gets so hooked on it, the idea of, of, of having something like this. And this happens in video games, it happens with you know, it happened with Tesla, um, and these prices just keep hiking up. So the starting price for the Lightning in the top of the line Platinum Edition, okay, um, is now almost 100 grand for a pickup truck. I don't know who's buying that. I don't know what, I mean, this is gonna have some kind of serious impact on their bottom line in the future. I, I mean, there's no way, uh, who knows, maybe people will buy this. It, it, you're gonna have to wait to see, I suppose, but in, in my opinion, this is gonna, this is pretty prohibitive for a lot of people. Um, when we get back, uh, we'll look a little bit uh, into what China's doing. They, ha they have a lot of interesting things going on regarding uh, their BRICS arrangements and kind of their Belt and Road Initiative and how they are positioning themselves in the world regarding energy um, and all that. So folks, stay tuned and we will be right back.